Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to sh we're going to show you how to remove the front clip on Audi A4 B6. It's the same procedure from 2002 until 2005 or 6. So, what you need to do, you need to remove the conden the bumper and the condenser first. Click on the video to watch to see how to do that. And next, right here, we have one bolt. Okay, right there. That we need to take with an Allen wrench. Uh, I think it's a five. Allen wrench. That's for the automatic transmission. That's the bottom line. So you need to take it off. Okay, that's the bolt. And you you need to pull it to the back. Top right side, right there. That's for the top line that's coming from the transmission with an Allen wrench again, the same socket. We need to remove that bolt that holds the bracket, that's the bracket that holds the line to the radiator. Okay, so we're ready with this one now. Check. And now with the flat screwdriver you need to get there and kind of like pry it open. You need to do the same thing for the bottom line as well. Okay, and the bottom line came loose. You need something to collect all the oil from the transmission. And as you can see, the transmission oil will need to be replaced soon, how black it is. We will have a video on our channel how to do that also. Now we need to go to the left side, the passenger side, and we need to take that board with a T30 socket. So the power steering cooler lines, they get loose. And now we need to remove the, the coolant hoses, the, the antifreeze hoses. So we have one right here on top. Let me get a good view. This one. How are we gonna do that? We need to get a screwdriver and lift the spring. Kind of like you see halfway like that and then pull it. Sometimes they get to stand stuck. Okay, this one came out easy. And now we have one more on the bottom. For the bottom one, you can access the spring from right here. Okay, and you lift it up with a screwdriver. You get a long screwdriver. And... Okay, you lift it up like that. Okay, now you can get something long and push on the plastic part of the holes. This one I have the feeling that it will be stuck pretty good. And make sure that you have a container underneath it because you're gonna make a mess. Coolant will leak out unless, unless you empty the system already. And now right there you just pull it out. Okay we remove the hoses. Now this thing right here you need to push in. First, like you need to get a small screwdriver like that and pull up with a knife, it comes right out. There is one on the left, one on the right side. You see like that. And now you can move the radiator to the front and pull it out of there. So that's the procedure for removing and replacing the radiator. And next thing that we need to do, right here, we need to remove that seal. So you just need to pull it like that, all the way. And it comes off. The one that's going towards the fenders. Now right here we need to unhook the cable for the, for the uh, hood release. So what you need to do is right here on the back side of it, let me show you. Right here you need to press like that and pull it. It goes right there. Okay, next thing that we need to do, that's the, air, uh, the temperature sensor for the uh, outside temperature, ambient temperature. We need to remove this one. And now it goes right there and it clips. Okay, there is a clip right there. 
So we need to remove it with a small screwdriver. One more right here. So it gets loose. And now there is a little one that we need to remove right here. So we can pull the wires on the side and there is one more right here on the bottom that we need to remove with the screwdriver again. You can like pull on them like that. Okay, next thing that we need to do is on the bottom, that's where the intercooler pipe is, right there. We need to remove that hose, there is one on the right side, so we take the clamp off all the way and now with a screwdriver, but careful not to punch a hole in it, they tend to get stuck, we just push it towards the back. Okay, right there, and now you just pull it towards the back, there is some oil, that's not a good sign, on the turbo in the intercooler line. Okay, now we need to go to the left side of the car, the driver's side, and right there underneath, that's the second intercooler hose that we need to remove. This is the one going actually towards the intercooler, right there. So again, with a flat screwdriver, you get it loose, and then just pry on it a little bit, but be careful not to punch a hole in it. Okay, next there is one wire right there, I think that's for the crush sensor, for the airbag. And there is one on the other side. Let me get a better view for them. Okay, right there, this is the sensor. And now we need to get that whole assembly, take it off and unhook it. So when, you, when we take the phone clip off, we don't have to take every single thing that's for the, for the fans, for the module there. Okay, so they stay with the phone clip right there. Next thing that we need to do, we need to get a T45 and there is three bolts. One there. Okay, you can see we already got them loose so we don't waste your time watching or two unnecessary things and then with a 10 millimeter socket right there there is one more bolt and you can see this thing came right off that's the bumper shock absorber shock absorber right there and the same thing on the other side of the vehicle three with t45 and one with a 10 millimeter with a 10 yeah 10 millimeter socket and the second one comes right off. Now next thing on top right here with the T30. There is two more on the right side of the vehicle that we need to take off. And two on the left side. Right there. Right there now, we have one more bolt that's on the fender towards the front with the T30. And now you need to kind of like lift it up a little bit because it will want to come off the car. And there is one on the right side, the same with T30 right there. So you just pull it out of there. Okay, now right there, you just pull it to the front, okay, right there, and we still have that intercooler hose right there because we couldn't access it good, and we have to unhook the hoses for the power steering line, right here. Okay, now we, are, we got the hose loose. And we can just pull the whole front clip out of there, as you can see right there, it's pretty heavy. Thank you guys for watching us, please subscribe and give us a like and don't forget to check our channel, thank you.